Well, that happened. <clears throat> I did not expect him to, to do that again. I did not expect that to happen. I, I did not expect him to, to walk back again. But he did. He walked. So that, that's the second time I've seen him walk there. Cool. Now we're, we're, we're gonna do the danger keep out. used to everything. I think that's for Dreadbear. Like, flash him, I think. I'm gonna flash him back. Do you have to keep checking on Foxy? Or if you're Foxy? Or, like, do you have to flash him? Do you, do you keep checking on him or do you flash him? Basically, click the I have to click the buttons. My ears are going to be ringing after this. Sure, we're ringing after this. I need to see here, right? Like, like, no one will, will spawn. Where's Bonnie at? Should I like flash him now? My ears are gonna be ringing after this. Sure, ringing.
Does, does Jack Oshika go, go in the corner too? Or does only Bond do that? Does, does Bond do that or can they both go in the, in the corner of the office? Like, like Bonnie was like back here and he walked in. Can she do that too or can only Bonnie do that? My ears are ringing. I forget. Is it Dread Bear the one you flash on the cameras, or is it Jack G G Foxy when you when you flash on the cameras? Flash the Grim Fox on the cameras, or do you watch Dread Bear on the cameras? Is Grim Foxy playing by FNAF 1 Foxy rules? Does he have his own rules? Oh, oh, oh. Do we have a visitor? Can I, can I just like wait for, for him to come? Can I just like sit here and just be like, what's up? We'll sit, sit here and, and wait for him to come again. God, he came, he came twice. He just like to scare animatronics. So, do I flash him with the light? I'm gonna try. When he comes out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash him. And see, and, see, and see if that does anything. I'm, I'm gonna let the phone go. I think there's a glitch I'm supposed to do, do with the phone, but I forget. There's a secret easy I do with the phone, but I forget what it is. Yeah, okay, I flash him, too. So it's him I flash.
for Dreadbear, if he gets in, does he, does he like, hit them all, or, or does he take time? Like, how do I stop Dreadbear from coming in? I'm, I'm gonna wait till he comes all the way out, and then flash him. I think that's what you're supposed to do, like, wait till he comes all the way out, and then you flash him. With your light! I might flash him or someone else one more time. Oh my lordy lord. Oh my lordy lord. I can't have my power of draining zero, right? Or else I'm just screwed. Right? Power can't go to zero or else I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm totally screwed. I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwedly, dude. I have not seen Jack with Chica anywhere. Where, where did she go? Hopefully, he glitched out. She hasn't come yet. You just love coming in. This door. I might wait to flash someone one more time, and then I do reset the power. Where is Jacko Chica? She is not. She only came like once the entire night. Scaring me. I feel, feel, like she's to, feel like she's gonna pop out of nowhere and be like, boo. Jacko Bond just keeps coming back and forth. He, he really wants to get me. He really wants to come in. You've gotten in. Unless you just climb through or you did some magic insulin Mr. Stitchy teleportation trick. Oh, oh, that's cool how like how like they're not lit. That's cool how how like they're not lit. I wanna be able to do it like this, but I can't. be able to play it like this. So it's easier to play it like this. Like how like how did he get in? He wasn't anywhere near me. How did he how did Jagabon even get in? The door was shut. Oh my god! God, like it won't—it it won't let me do it on that side. Like it—it it, it won't let me flash it on that side. I guess I could have always just pushed the button. J 
Jack O'Bonnie's glitched. Keep in mind that this DLC pack is nothing more than a festive holiday themed add-on, which has absolutely no hidden intent or purpose. So, have fun. What the actual heck, though? Night 2 is glitched, confirm. Night 2 is glitched. Jack of Bonnie's glitched. Jack of Bonnie is glitched. Like, I want someone to personally tell me in the comments or whatever how, how the heck would he be able to get in if A, I flashed him. B, the door was still on the thing. And like, don't they have to hit the door first? Don't they have to bang on the door first? And then, and then they get in? Don't they have to break the door down, then they get in? Or can you just break the, or can you just break the door down to where it's weak enough? And they just st st straight like clip the door. Huh? How would he have gotten in? The door didn't break. He was nowhere near. I like that, how like, how like the fire's not lit up. But then like, the, then the fire lights up inside them and then they go in, start attacking and everything. How, how do I, how, how do I get the Easter egg to work? It's like an Easter egg where like, everything to go, go glitchy out. If, if Jack of Bonnie like glitches out again, I'm done playing this level. There's no way you're gonna have gotten in. Like he, like he could not have gone in that fast. Like, like he could not have gone in that fast. Unless Bonnie has super speed. Unless Bonnie's fast as frick, boy. Um. Um I, um, I like how they glow, so, so like it's kind of easier if you just see them, because, like, they glow. Like, there's no way for Bonnie to have gotten in. There's no way he had gotten in. There's no freaking way he had gotten in. Like, there's no way for him to have gotten in. There's no way he, he, he could have gotten in that fast. You get here that quick. I guess Chica can do the same thing Bonnie does. Remote, it was, it was telling me there someone was here. It's cool. I'm gonna flash that side because, like, I think someone, I think, I think Bonnie was over there.
the, the volume should make different sound cues. At this point, I'm just flashing at random now. Flash outside, just be safe. Yeah! Finally, glitch Jackalbani. Hey, the power went back up. So how, so, so how, how did the guy leave the building? If it's boarded up right there, clown, clown. No, so close. So close. Oh Lord, no. So close. We had two clouds. We had two. Also, why does it spawn with with um the clown? God, oh god, I just realized something. I just, I just realized something. I have a brain fart. And in the, the Stitch Rate epilogue, the clown robot Eleanor Baby jumps onto the after after amalgamation, then leaves once after is defeated. Why does the "It's Me" sign appear when the clown posters are there? It's a baby. So hmm. Just a fun little thing. Just a little hint that, that maybe it's a little weird baby. Also, I have another theory that baby has something to do with the missing children incident, or at least that year of 1985. Cause eight bit baby, her her haywire has one nine eight five in it. Also, all across this location, you can hear her say one nine eight five. I hate the ship. Well. The ship go down, or will it stay afloat? Oh no, Foxy! No, Foxy! No, is, is he is he gonna be okay? Wait, what? What? <laughs> How? What? What? As soon as Foxy's ship go down, Drivers comes back up. Yo, yo, that's straight up, con that's straight up connected. What? Yo, I'm so freaking lucky. First, first Dreadbear comes, then he comes back again. Then the pirate ship goes, sinks down to the down, and Brad Dreadbear comes back up to the sea. Was Dreadbear, was Dreadbear on the ship, or, or was he controlling the Kraken? God, I'm so lucky. Yeah, yeah, I can't get the three clowns to spawn, but I can get Foxy's ship and Dreadbird to spawn three times. Twice in the same recording. Nah, now nah, I have proof. Guys, <laughs> nah, all of them. Why did you keep coming back? I, I think he must really like me. I think, was, I think Dreadbird must really, really like me. He keep coming back. Of course, of course, I'm gonna watch him. Yo, it's a nature documentary. Uh, here we have a wall dread bit. 
in his natural habitat. You see, he's walking to find food. He had risen from the lake and now is on his journey to find food. As a wild giant bear searches through this area for his food, we are in his natural habitat, but he does not seem to be drawn towards us. So we're going to watch him at this angle. If we cautiously see these wild things, they can jump at you. Be quiet and be observed. Don't startle the beast. You should watch him. Okay, we'll do what you need to do. So he is currently going to get food and maybe do his signature dance, the monster mouse. See, he always goes off to the lake into the barn. What, what, he, what does he do in the barn? No one really knows. A lot of nature's mysteries, I guess. There's lots of belief that he goes in, finds a spider, and eats the spider, but I think he finds food. And then he does the monster mash. I've always wanted to see one of these do the monster mash up close. You only do the monster mash when you feel that. Stall him and make him feel uncomfortable. Or anger him. He, he should be fine. And you should be fine. You just have to watch him to observe. Watch as he goes into the, the barn. Watch as he shuffles left and right to the barn. Now he is gone. He shall be eating and doing the monster mash. 